So I wanted to know, are there any like Netflix shows or any shows that you all have born your quarantine go to shows that you have? So it's interesting because Corey had been watching that show on Netflix called All American. I didn't follow it, but now that I'm sitting home bored and he's watching it, and now I get into season two. So now I have to go back and watch all of season one. What is that, All American? It's um, it's what. <laughs> Actually, I don't think they would love it. But anyway, it's with Tay Diggs. He plays this um, football coach out in Beverly Hills. It's it's football and Beverly Hills versus Crenshaw. And you can hear that my husband's not going to let me have this conversation without <laughs> <laughs> But it talks with a lot of social and eth- issues and around ethnicity, around um, discrimination, kind of the, the whole gentrification thing. Um, Where's the you know, it's called, it called All American. It's called All American. It stars Tay Diggs. Oh, mm. okay. I never heard of that. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Like I said, I didn't follow it last year when it first came out, but now I'm sitting here and we binge watched like five episodes yesterday. I was like, okay, now I have to go back and watch season one because I need to catch up on some of the characters. Oh, uh, look at you. What about you, Coley? Well, I've been wa- re-watching stuff and I don't usually do that. Mario does that. So we watch Boys in the Hood. <laughs> we watch... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, cause I'm like, he loves to rewatch stuff, and he's like, they're classics. So we watched um, Boys in the Hood. Um, what's the the show with Queen Latifah in Common? Oh, oh just that right. movie, just right. right. I really like that movie. So I like that I movie. That, yeah, saw that, saw that again. And there was something else that we were watching again. So a lot of rewatching. Of course, I watched the. Um, what is it? Uh, Madam C.J. Walker inspired story that was. Oh a hot- my God! Can we talk about that? For yeah, a yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that, Lynn? No, actually, y'all made me not want to watch it. <laughs> it was so like the feedback I just, was. I have so for people I have who didn't no know words, the but so many like words. That, but- yeah. The only, you know, what was good, and I felt I didn't want to. I actually didn't say this on Facebook. I mean, I'm saying it now if anybody's listening. But the best thing about it was how fine Blair Underwood looked. I'm why like, is he so fine still? Like, I, why is he, he not aged? Like, I don't even understand that. I don't know. I was like, this is like... He looks just, like 1984 <laughs> Blair Underwood from L.A. Law. Remember that show? Oh, like, yes. I used to watch show? that show religiously, too. And then they, he had his shirt off for no reason. There was no I, I, reason I, for him I, to be shirtless. None. <laughs> And you just knew it was so funny because we knew as soon as they showed him and he was kissing up on Octavia, we just knew that he was going to be trash at some point. Like, <laughs> like that had become, he had just been the B-boy, B-movie, How do you trash get boy. How, do you huh? get How did he get to that? It's so terrible. because he can act. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you know, and somehow he started he really early being trash. Of- Wasn't he trash on Posse? Oh, remember I that Western with um, mm. Melvin Van Peebles? I love that movie. I can barely, I can barely remember that movie. Really, Dad? Yeah, I don't really I'm remember. I'm sad part is I've seen it, but I can barely but he, remember he, it. I think he started very early being like um, the, the villain. But he is, yeah, it, he was one of the highlights of that film, <laughs> even though his character was trash. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been reading, so of course, when I watched it, I knew some things and I knew, I, you know, I was angry because it was just so many, like the demonizing of Annie Monroe, um, oh, not her, that's not her name, a- Annie Malone, mm-hmm. Addie Mon- Mon- Monroe is the fictional character that was based mm-hmm. on her. They totally demonized her. So I knew some things, but I decided to go and read more after seeing just what a hit job they did on this woman. And, um, came across some speculation that um, there may have not even been a C.J. Walker. So Blair Underwood's character may not have even really existed. Some people speculate that Madam C.J. Walker actually created him because, you know, during that time of respectability and everything, Mm -hmm. um, women, you know, were more likely to, to be able to interact in the business world if they were married. And so um, some speculate that she was single, particularly after her, her widowship and then when she had the abusive man, that she didn't 
have a, a husband after that and so she kind of fabricated him because they said in the movie <laughs> even though you know because they lied about so much in the movie but at the end remember they said there are no known pictures of him right because i was looking online to see if i could find his picture and there wasn't none picture. You're right, not you're right. one picture <laughs> yeah. no one like wouldn't and and especially with this hit job on how his character i would think I mean, just in general, you would think that there would be some relatives that would be like, you know, they're related to C the That's CJ and CJ Walker. Up. Yeah, and the way they created his character, he was a businessman, he was in advertising. You would think that he would have a picture of himself. Right. Or somebody would have taken a picture of him. Yeah. Right, 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 right. So that was kind of um, really interesting to kind of, I mean, there were so many things and just, I, I felt that the that they knew i, I want to read um a lilia bundle's book because i'm wondering if she says in there that madam cj walk and this is spoiler spoiler alert <laughs> but that um she basically stole um annie malone's product mm -hmm. yeah. what in the hell yeah see i didn't know that until the end did you know that before you watched it well i knew she stole her um business model because she used to yeah. work for her and right. So, um, but the product? Yeah. See, That's I didn't know crazy. any of that until as I was watching it, I just started going back and doing research, you know, looking, 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 looking. And then at the end, they don't reveal the stealing of the product until the end. But right. clearly the business model. I was like, this isn't right because she worked for her. You know what I mean? And they're saying that she didn't work for her. She so that's you know, I kind of figured it out. I was doing it while I was watching it. I was doing the research research while i was watching it and i said this is not matching up it's it was like so it, it's like they went so hard to make this woman be someone that deserved bad things to happen to her and when i say this woman talking about the addie monroe character you know she's light-skinned and she's a evil she stalked her like all of that was so false because she was annie malone was in st louis before Madam C.J. Walker um, was there, and she hired her there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She started a college. Mm -hmm. She did so much. It was just such an inaccurate depiction. It's like, it was such a hit job. And, it, and they did all of this to then slide in, you know, yeah, I stole your, I stole your, your product, but I, I asked to work with you. It was so, it was like, <laughs> what? It was crazy. It was, it was insane. And just the thought of these level of actors that participated in this, because all you know, all of them are a level actors. These aren't like struggling actors. And they said LeBron James executive produced it. Octavius um executive produced this shit. And, and pardon my language. Oops. Like what? <laughs> what Facebook <laughs> Live family. <laughs> <laughs> but what you had said before, um, on when we were talking about this on Facebook, Coley, um, so y'all can talk. Huh? Yeah, oh, you frozen, Lim. What you say? I think she was talking to Corey. Oh, okay. I forgot. I had a brain fart. <laughs> saying something I, I was saying. Right. It was. It was just how. Um, Octavia had done the Green Book mo movie too, where the family had problems with that. So this now with this piece, this is really jacking up her credibility. You know, the family, the the Green Book, um, what's the? I don't even remember his name, the the piano player. But his family was very upset, right. very upset because right. they said that they were not friends. They were not right. friends at all. Right. He just was his. He was his driver. That was it. And they were like, how could you, this was just a made up thing. That is crazy. That is crazy. Like, I just, I don't understand that one bit. Because it could have been such an amazing story mm -hmm. to, in telling Madam C.J. Walker's story to then learn all of these things about Annie Malone. Um, that I feel, I feel, that's the thing, I, my takeaway was that she was this incredible person that absolutely gets no shine, and everything that we know about Madam C.J. Walker is inaccurate. She wasn't the first black millionaire. Mm -hmm. She wasn't. Um,